hello hello dears and welcome back to the channel benidorm by anna today for the latest news update we have an incredible amazing unique news don't scroll forward this video please because you will be shocked on what we have to say to you in today's news update that's all that we can say for now but stay tuned up until the end because you did not expect this one and i guarantee you it's going to be incredibly useful for a lot of you guys stay tuned let's start today's latest news update let's start with the tourism situation first as you all know it's incredibly busy in benidorm there's quite a lot of people at the beach all the seafront is busy there's even people sunbathing here on the levant beach the weather is just gorgeous it's around 21 degrees already and it's just 10 30 in the morning bizarre weather almost summer weather is accompanying us for quite a long time already and a couple of days before February will start so people know it a lot of people came last minute others booked it in advance and were surprised with an incredible weather that we have out here in the region hotels are almost full around 67 68 percent of occupancy and more people will be coming right now towards the end of this week towards the beginning of the other because Benidorm Fest will be starting in town apart from that we are starting the Tapas Best. starting from today up until the 2nd of february we have an incredible tapas fest which is 21 establishments i'm gonna leave you a link here in the description you can open the description of this video and you can go and check it out this link will lead you to benidorm fest website and there's the tapas fest section there you can check all the names of the restaurants that will be participating in the tapas fest and all the tapas that they have ingredients what it's made of you can check it out and decide where you would like to go there are incredible art creations authentic art creations on these tapas selected products and it's just incredible we will probably go and try some of these with all of you here on the channel if you would like us to do so let us know please because we'll show you different places different bars and what the tapas are looking like and you can rate them from one till five points one or five stars uh, you can rate them directly at the bar or scan the qr code and vote online and let the best tapa win on the 2nd or 3rd of february we will know the official winner let's wish them luck and obviously the one that will potentially win will become even more famous and more and more clients will reach out to them to have a lovely meal the second news that i wanted to share with you all is the surprise that i've been willing to share you with you for quite a few days this is a brand new incredible launched for brits and not only for brits but for all those in general who love benidorm town and surrounding region this is a brand new website based in uk unique of a kind that's called benidorm and beyond by the way it doesn't have anything to do with the youtube channel that is based here in benidorm it's only a coincidence that the name is exactly the same this website will inspire you to visit benidorm once again return to our gorgeous beach areas and to so many places that benidorm has to offer or even visit it for the first time ever and have a unique experience what to explore in benidorm where to dine which places to visit where to go for a drink shops travel stays and much more you even have an interactive map either of benidorm or beyond benidorm area where you can see all the useful places and recommended places to visit and all the future events are here as well even the vlog will be available for you to read all the latest articles if you love shows they even have a unique of a kind incredible in full of information show calendar on their website that will be updated weekly and it will keep you up to date with everything on when and where the best shows will be happening in benidorm 
on the main website, you will be able to find the show highlights where you can see Neil Diamond Adele in Philippines in Rockefellers. Then you can see some most popular artists when the performance will be happening and at which exact time the Soul Girl and Liam Gallagher, the Queen Forever and much, much more. If you go in the menu to the show calendar, this is where you will be able to see way more of it and you can even filter it by preferred date or time and you will be able to see all the entire program schedule for the whole entire Benidorm. We will be officially collaborating with this first ever website about Benidorm and beyond. Why it's called Beyond? Because it's not only about Benidorm. This website, the same as our channel, Benidorm by Anna, aims to show much more lovely villages, places to visit and discover around Benidorm. Hence, beyond, Benidorm and beyond. The team is lovely. They did work really, really hard on their website and it looks amazing, I must say. So we are proud to be collaborating with this website and working together on bringing you the best information possible and probably become number one reference, both in Benidorm and back in UK. We will be centering our forces on Benidorm and Marina Baixa to be exact, to show you everything you can do here, all the incredible possibilities. Visit the most recommended places, best bars, best tapas areas, viewpoints, excursions and things to do to make your holidays even more memorable. We will obviously leave you their website here on the channel. We'll leave you the link and you've seen it on the screen already. Easy to remember, benidormandbeyond.com and it's incredible partnership that we hope will last for a really, really long time. And I couldn't be happier for letting you know that this is where you can also check a lot more of information to gather as much as you can for your future holidays to make sure you'll have an amazing stay in Benidorm, Costa Blanca and Marina Baixa specifically. They also have a brand new project that they will launch towards the end of this year. And this one, let me tell you, this one will be one of the most famous things that will happen to Benidorm. They will launch the Benny Bible the revolutionary digital magazine it will include a lot of interactive maps videos and everything you need to know when you come to benidorm for your holiday its mission is very simple share the love of benidorm with all the british and not only british holiday makers we will have a lot of useful information in it and it will be launched in autumn more or less of this year 2024 and it will be absolutely free of charge here you can see a glance on what it will look like once you will be able to download it from the official website first ever magazine of this kind for benidorm town and surrounding region this magazine will be absolutely unique it will include some interactive maps. It will include some videos and everything you need when you come to Benidorm for your holidays. And the best news is that this magazine will be absolutely free of charge. You can also see a small page about it already here on the screen and you will be able to simply download it. And that's it. Incredible service that we've never ever previously had before. And we will have it very, very soon with the help and collaboration of this incredible website, Benidorm and Beyond. So I'm so, so happy that this finally happened, that we got to see a new company emerge that will help us to bring all the useful information to you guys. And hopefully you will benefit from it quite a lot. This is the unique of a kind website. There's going to be also a blog section about us out there. So check it out if you're curious to know slightly more about myself, our channels and our business Benidorm by Anna Tours and give it a try because they have incredible information on it, which will be extremely useful for a lot of you. And now being all this said, we'll continue with the last news. Today's news are quite positive, aren't they? Oh, the sun is shining. We have incredible news for all those who love Benidorm, for all the travelers and tourists. And 
the last news is for those who are coming with the camper van. And for all those who are just simply curious to see what's happening in Benidorm, there are quite a lot of brand new parking spaces here in Rincon Deloitte. Uh, simply like ground a few stones to delimitate the area and also around the hotel Pueblo of Benidorm where the Sundays and Wednesdays market is located. There's a lot of these huge parking spaces, parking lots that a lot of people who are coming with their camper van are using to stop, relax and have some nice holidays and park their van out there. And these, these parkings right now are converted into an authentic campsite. For those who are coming with a camper van with their own mobile home, what you need to know is it's not allowed to park there for a long time, okay? You cannot stay there as in a camping. It's not allowed to open all up, you know, put the terrace, put the chairs, cook there, you know, all this is not actually allowed. However, in defense of all these people, I would say, there's police going all around it. They're checking it in. In one of the parking spaces, they've actually taken all these campers away. So they let them know that it's not possible and they don't want to get a fine. They need to go somewhere else where it is allowed. But I've just seen this morning that some of the camper vans are there back again. In all the defense of the tourists, I would say and I would recommend the town hall to put signs on them. These are brand new parking lots, so there's literally nothing on it. There's not a single sign that will let you know where you can park, who can park, who cannot park, if you can litter, if not, if dogs are allowed, if not allowed, anything at all, even to indicate where the traffic needs to go. No, nothing. There is not a single sign there. So how should people know? We locals kind of do know because we live here. But people coming from abroad, they don't see any sign. They do see like a massive parking lot with not a single delimited space. No signs. So they think, all right, why not? Maybe that's for us. Maybe we can park here. So obviously you cannot put a fine if, not spe if it's not specified anywhere. So if Municipal Hall doesn't want people to park there, put some signs because it's not clear at all for all the tourists what you can and cannot do what can you park and what you cannot park on these specific areas so this is something that you need to take with precaution obviously they cannot put a fine on you don't worry but just bear that in mind to avoid unnecessary issues or stress that camping for a long time on a public space right like in the center of Benidorm is actually not allowed so unless you're just plan on staying for one day maybe two maximum or you're planning on moving around with your camper van, that's absolutely fine. But if you're planning on parking there for like one week, two weeks, a month, two months time, then you might be uh, speaking with the police very, very soon. But once again, there are no signs, take that into consideration. They will ask you to leave politely probably, and that's basically it. But I can still see a lot of the camper vans out there in the horizon. And now let's have a short walk Let's enjoy the Levante Beach a tiny bit and we'll let you know what the weather will be looking like this week. Let's go. During all this week, we'll have a gorgeous and sunny weather. Only some clouds on Monday and Tuesday, but no rain at all. The sun will be shining like it does right now. And you'll be really, really lucky if you're coming here throughout this whole next week. The temperatures will be of around 20 to 21 degrees. They're bizarre. Right on the sunshine, I would dare to say it's around 23 degrees, more than 20. And all this entire week, we'll have temperatures of around 18 plus 20 degrees, which is also not normal. Even so, it's not normal for this time of the year. End of January, beginning of February tends to be the coldest months of the year, the coldest time of the year when... At night, we go towards one, two, three, or four degrees. And during day, it's more or less 10, 12. But hey, double of it is also not too bad at all. We are still hopeful for a normal winter weather, to be honest with you, here in the area. And slightly worried for the new summer season because if winter is like this, what's the summer gonna be like? We don't really know. But we hope it's not gonna be too bad with the high 
temperatures uh, this year, 2024. Thank you for accompanying us on today's latest Benidorm news update. We hope it was useful for you guys. We wish you an incredible holidays if you are on once or you will be coming on once soon. And we'll see each other tomorrow in a brand new video here on the channel Benidorm by Anna. Bye, geez.